This is Twit. All right. Brad writes in and says, Hello, Micah. I have a question for you. When I, uh, what I'm asking is I keep my phone on the charger all day and all night. Is that safe? It is an iPhone 16 Pro Max. Whenever I'm at work, I keep it on an Anchor 10,000 power brick. Is that safe for it as well, or should I take it off the charger sometimes? Thank you. I'm a loyal Club Twit member and listen to all the shows. Brad, thank you for listening to all the shows. Thank you for your Club Twit subscription. First and foremost, with iPhone. If you have optimized battery charging turned on, that's your first step toward making sure that everything's okay, regardless of whether you plug it in uh, or charge it via a, a you know wireless or whatever means you do. If you have um, optimized battery charging turned on, you're well on your way to doing the right thing. For people who don't know, you launch the settings app, you tap on battery, you tap on charging, and then in the middle, there's a section that says optimized battery charging. You turn that on. From that point on, Apple's iOS is going to manage your charging settings in the background. So you don't need to worry about them. What that will do is, regardless of how you have it plugged in or on a, a wireless charger, it's going to take care of that system and figure out how it needs to be charged uh, to do to, to keep the the drive or rather the battery excuse me health good um now should you keep it on the charger at all times always well i know a lot of people who do and part of the reason why they do that is uh because they know that the iphone is only going to pull charge when it needs to pull charge and then not pull charge at other times so what that means is that the system is going to turn off charging, which then will result in the, if you're using a wireless charger, the heat component not being a factor. At that point, it's just a magnet. And that's the most important thing because heat is the enemy of battery longevity. So if you have, uh, if you have an issue with the, with your your wireless charger, whatever it happens to be, getting hot, that's something to keep in mind and to look out for. So, Brad, the, my ultimate suggestion to you is do not allow your wireless charger or your uh, power brick to get super hot with the iPhone on there because that will start to decrease your battery life. But that's the good thing about optimized battery charging when it comes to uh, a you know a wireless charging puck or whatever tool you're using to charge it, it's going to stop pulling, which is going to dissipate that heat and keep it good to go. I can't speak for the Anchor 10,000 uh, milliamp hour power brick uh, in terms of whether it remains hot whenever it's not pulling a charge, but I would imagine it does not. So yeah, Brad, just you know touch it every once in a while and see if it. Um, is getting warm and if it is then that could be an issue and that's a reason to not keep it on the charger um i am curious brad the what's the reason that you keep it on the charger at all times is it just because that's where you think to put it and so it's just it's like i know it's right there and uh, you know it's available to me or do you have battery issues where you need it to be more charged than it is, uh, particularly if you're going for the, the Max phone. That, that battery life is pretty long, so I'm kind of curious to hear about why um, you keep it charging at all times. Not to say that there's anything wrong with that, because again, we, we went through what those reasons might be. But yeah, I'm kind of curious. If you enjoyed what you just saw, well, there's more of it. It's all over at twit.tv, or just click in the description and you can get links to this very episode. 